Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, please click the subscribe button and do check out my previous video about what are the pros and cons of sponge filters. Without further ado, let's get started with today's episode. The meaning of KH and GH of an aquarium in two minutes. Most of us know what pH means in an aquarium. However, in today's episode, we will be looking at just what are the lesser known water parameters of an aquarium, KH and GH, in two minutes. To keep things short, we will be looking at the qualitative meanings of KH and GH and will not be discussing what are the different requirement values of KH and GH for the different species of aquatic livestocks. KH measures the quantity of carbonate and bicarbonate in water. We can think of this as a buffer. High KH means better buffering, and it is therefore harder for pH to swing. One way to raise the KH level of aquarium water is to add crushed corals into the aquarium. When the aquarium water is low in KH, it is easier for the pH to swing. GH is the general hardness of aquarium water. It is the measurement of the quantity of calcium and magnesium ions in water. When the GH of aquarium water is high, it means that there is high amount of calcium and magnesium ions in water. And this means hard water. When the GH of aquarium water is low, it means that there is low amount of calcium and magnesium ions in water. And this means soft water. Different aquatic livestock require different pH, KH and GH to thrive and stay healthy. I hope you have learned something from today's episode. If you like my channel's content, please consider subscribing to my channel and turn on the notification bell as I will be uploading videos frequently. Thank you and see you in the next episode.